bang, look at that, huh? That's the moon shining right there. Bang, that's a big jumbo jet. Woo! Osama bin Laden will not be using no to kill Americans anymore. Yeah, baby, how you doing? Hey, everybody, this is Dr. Phil Dries. Ah, this is a supplemental log for August 9th, 2012. This is my home. This is where I live. This is where I sleep at every night out in the open. See, that's my duffel bag. I mean, my rucksack right there, my sleeping bag right here. I got my tarp right there. These are my boots. And this is me. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> I just love being a star on my TV show. I mean, this is my reality TV show. And you get a chance to share it, to live with me. What it is to be black in America. And America hates your ass. <laughs> because the federal government, the state government, and the city government is trying to tell a judge that it's okay to railroad nigga in New York City and made special by the Yiddish administration of Michael R. Bloomberg. Hey, how you doing? Yes, Michael R. Bloomberg, my evil dad. <laughs> Absolutely genius. Genius. He was able to recreate fascism unlike anybody else. And the last three guys that did it are super guys. Okay, we have Marco of Spain. We have Mussolini of Italy. And we have Hitler of Germany. When in the 20th century, the first half of the 20th century, these guys pulled off something on Europe. Ain't nobody ever seen before. <laughs> and Michael R. Bloomberg, smart, smart, smart little Jewish boy, going to recreate that shit, make himself the king of New York. And at my eviction, it's going to send me a personal regard. Bang! That's some big shit for the mayor of New York to be sending you his personal regard at your eviction. Like you and him are pals and shit, and he just fucked your woman. That's right. You know, you fuck somebody's woman, then you go ahead and send him, send him your regards because he's sitting in a fucking jail cell, and you boning his babe. That's why Mayor Michael R. Bloomberg did to me. And this is where I live at, right here. And then there's a guy called Marshal Edward Guida in Corona, New York. Badge number 14, New York City badge number 14. You can even ask him, Maria, how many times NYCHA got caught? trying to have me evicted on multiple occasions, illegally. And that marshal just didn't go for it. And you guys seem to think this is some kind of joke to play with my life, turn me into a piece of shit. And you seem to think I'm going to let you motherfuckers get away with that shit because you got a freaking Willie Lynch chip and you some kind of big superpower motherfucker. All right now, all right now. Hey, are you ready to dance, baby? Come on, are you ready to dance? Mosquitoes eating my ass up out here. Come on now. I should be in my sleeping bag or in my clothes, but for you, I'll go ahead and do this, people. Look at this skyline. Woo! And I'm down here as a piece of shit in America. Because I saved the life of one of your Americans called Mrs. Fronnie Green. I saved the life of Tom Crater. I advocated for so many people and done so good. Gave away everything for the love of America. And America has betrayed me. And you people got to understand. I'm telling you a story of what's happened to me. I'm not blaming you. You're my friends out there. You're the ones I love. You're the ones I want, I need to put pressure on these guys to help me out here. I love you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.